I am at work. But literally, it is noon. I go on lunch in an hour, so I haven't had anything to eat since breakfast. And my stomach is starting to cramp. So, literally nothing is in my stomach. Nothing. It's just cramping. I don't know what causes it. It's really annoying, but it really is painful. So, I have these in my purse because these are the only thing that I have been able to find that stops it. And I just take one tablet and I chew it. And within like five minutes, the cramping goes away. But it literally feels like a Charlie horse in my stomach. My stomach. So, today is October 10th. I meet with my doctor in exactly two weeks. I'll ask him what the heck is going on because this is painful. <laughs> Hi. Today is October 17th. It's my sister's birthday, so we have really fun things planned for her. It's been kind of a fun whole weekend because today's Monday. I've had such a crazy day. It's been so busy at work today. But I'm on my way to my sister's house right now so we can go to the pumpkin patch. But I wanted to jump on here because I messaged Anna, my doctor's like right hand person, um, regarding the stomach cramps because they've been happening a lot more frequently lately. I had two today at work alone. And so the other day I had one, um, I had two actually last Tuesday morning before I went to the gym. I was going to only have a little bit of sleep anyways, but I woke up two different times with these muscle cramps. The stomach cramp, like a Charlie horse in my stomach, it happens the same way. And then this time, those two times, I had to take two Pepto tablets because it didn't work. And the first one didn't work to ease it, and then finally it was eased. Today, the same thing at work, um, the first one didn't ease with the first Pepto tablet. And so I had to take a second one. The second one, the second muscle cramp eased with only one Pepto tablet. But when I was telling my sister about how I was having these muscle cramps and I have a follow-up appointment with um, Dr. Ludwig, my, my surgeon on the 24th, which is next Monday, I was talking to her about how I think I'm just gonna wait it out. I wanna ask, maybe it's normal. I mean, I don't really know, but maybe it is normal, you know? Um, I haven't heard anything about it. I don't know. So I messaged Anna and I asked her, I said, Hey, you know, I'm having these like Charlie horse, like muscle spasms, like cramps in my actual stomach. And they only ease by a Pepto tablet. They're completely random. Whether I eat, don't eat, whatever. It's just so random. It just hurts and it makes it hard to breathe and then also um might be a little bit of a tmi but i have been having a really hard time having a bowel movement so every day because i take calcium citrate and i take iron those are known to be um uh i don't know what it's called but like to stop you up constipators and so i have two um stool softeners that were like i have to take one twice a day um to help with that but then in order to have even just a small bowel movement i've been having to take laxatives like four laxatives at a time just to have a small and it's not loose or anything so um i was talking to anna about that i sent that in my message and she said uh definitely keep my appointment with dr ludwig we don't need to have another one but it sounds like the classic signs of internal hernia, which is common in Ruin Y patients. So I am petrified. I'm really, I'm really nervous to the point where like I feel like I could cry because that means another surgery. <laughs> And it's exactly what I didn't want to happen because, <laughs> because um, it's starting down the same kind of path as with the sleeve <laughs> where my health just kind of goes downhill really fast. And so um, 
I just don't want, I just don't want it to be as tough as it was with the sleeve. So, I have my six month follow up with Dr. Ludwig on this, the 24th anyways. So I'm going to talk to him about that. I was hoping that he would be able to tell me if I was a good candidate or not for skin removal. Um, so if I would be a good candidate for skin removal, um, I wonder if he would just do it like, <laughs> I wonder if he would just do it at the same time if I have this internal hernia or whatever. Tests need to be scheduled. So yeah. That's the only update I have for today. <laughs> I'm really nervous, man. <laughs> .8 and I am so disappointed. My heart rate though. That happened Friday afternoon. 108 was 71. Hi guys. I just left my doctor's appointment. <sighs> Good and bad news, I guess. Not really bad news so much as like I'm a little disappointed in myself. Um so <sighs> I forgot my wallet at work. Of course I did. But um I met with Anna, not with Dr. Dr. Ludwig, like I thought I was going to meet with him, but she was really cool. She said that um, because of the constipation and the randomness of the Charlie horses, um, it sounds like an internal hernia, which is also called a Peterson's, Peters, Peterson's hernia, I think it's Peterson's hernia. Um, she said it's where you have your stomach, your new little pouch, and you have your intestinal limb is what she called it. And there's a bunch of fat around the intestinal limb. And when there's no fat anymore, it could kink, just herniate in the open space. So I'm like, oh, okay. I have no idea. Never heard of that before in my life. So... Yeah, she did say that I have lost 49 pounds since the second surgery. I'm at 294. I'm disappointed at this number. But she said that's actually a lot of weight to have lost after a revision. So she said that I'm killing it, which made me feel really good. And um, she said continue with the way that I'm eating. She said, if anything uh, aggravates, you know, if I eat anything and it aggravates my stomach, obviously don't eat it again. Uh, I can continue to have raw vegetables now. And um, she asked me if I was eating red meat yet. And I'm not, to be honest with you, because I'm a little nervous still after like the taco and the hamburger from last time. That just makes me nervous. <laughs> so I told her, no, we're still sticking with like ground turkey, ground chicken, chicken sausages, stuff like that. We don't even really have that much pork. Um, but yeah, so she said I'm doing fabulous. And um, I did talk to her about skin removal. So she said skin removal would be uh, approved through insurance if the skin goes down farther than the pubic bone, which mine does. Um, if it impedes my life or it was something else, like medically necessary some other way. And so those two things actually um, make me a great candidate. However, most of the surgeons that do that kind of surgery um, are like money hungry, and so they don't want to go based off insurance, they want you to pay for it. So she found this really great surgeon, uh, like three towns, three cities over, um, that does it still with insurance. And she said he does a great job. So um, they cannot, well, they can, but they don't want to recommend um, skin removal until the year mark so that we can lose as much weight as possible so there's less to take off. 
um, which makes complete sense to me. So in another three months, I have a follow up with the dietitian. And then in six months, I have my one year follow up with Dr. Ludwig. This time I made it with Dr. Ludwig. He's only in the office on Thursdays and Fridays. So Thursday, April 27th will be my one year follow up. And that is when I will see if I can get skin removal approved. So a lot of information, a lot of, and then we joked back and forth because she said, you know, I, I, we talked about everything that I do at the gym. She said, oh my God. And then, oh, that's funny. And then um, we talked about, she felt my stomach and she said she feels my abs, which is really cool and strange for me to think that somebody can feel my abs because I still feel 517 pounds. But yeah, anyways, that's, that's all I've got for today, 294. I was hoping to be 287 because then I would be exactly 30 pounds away from half my body weight, but I'm not. Oh well. <laughs>